So guys welcome to a new youtube video my name is prince mason if there is one question i get asked a lot it is how do you use the mixer brush tool for frequency separation it, it is so crazy how many times i get asked this question but for some reason i actually never thought about making a video for it until um somebody asked me again some days ago so um we're gonna get straight into that today now before we get into today's video i want to tell you guys about my christmas sale that i'm having on my digital store um it's up to 50 percent off for um my presets and my actions by the way i just up updated my um, retouching essentials pack so we have moved from 14 to 15 amazing actions and um, one of them or the latest update is with the um, median action for frequency separation it is absolutely amazing um, if you haven't got my retouching essentials pack then definitely check that out like i said up to 50 percent off on my store or in my store so definitely check that out so yeah let's talk about the mixer brush tool which is to me the most important tool in the technique of frequency separation that i teach now i have already created my frequency separation layers here using the median like i said check it out in my digital store and i have removed uh a lot of blemishes from her skin so i'm just going to zoom inside so you guys can see that i have done that from the high texture so i cleaned it up now the next thing i want to do is just work on the skin right with the mixer brush so the first question i get asked is what settings should i use up here so i always uh, check this particular box here which um is just like cleaning your brush after use i think that's what it is to clean your brush after use and then my wet is on 24 my load is on 29 mix is a i don't think your mix really matters my flow is 21 now these are essence that i use um depending on how good you are at, um using a mixer brush or um how new you are you might want to like just mess around with these settings to see what works for you but if you're not good and you're just starting up then maybe use lower settings um if you are really good and you want to like use the mixer brush faster you might increase your settings but for now um right now i just leave everything the way it is so that's 24 29 21 it, it just works for me and i've left it like this for the longest time so if you watch my previous videos you see that this is what I use um, typically so now when it comes to the mixer brush tool how do you use it how do you use the mixer brush tool to get the best results for your images now the first thing I'll do is come to my low layer here and I will click my low layer the mixer brush tool the way it works is that it just takes colors and it moves the colors around because we're working on our low layer which has our colors right so you just move our colors around so for example if um by the way if this happens to you where you use the mixer brush tool and you see a color here even though you have this box checked all you have to do is just command z and what it does is that you can now use the mixer brush tool without um, any issues now what i want to show you guys is with the mixer brush tool if i just roll the brush on this you can see it just blends everywhere and it makes everywhere flat and that's what a lot of people do when they're using the mixer brush tool they don't understand how to use it so what i'm going to do is turn on this frequency separation help and what this is just doing is that it's just adding a lot of contrast to our image um, i'm using curves adjustment this is what i've done my curves adjustment and with my hue saturation um this is what i've done with my hue saturation i just reduce my saturation to um zero right and what I'm doing with this layer is just to see how, um, like I say, contrast in my images to see how my um, how my light or how my subject skin is transitioning from highlights to shadows. Basically, I think that's the best word to use. So for this, I'm just going to create a new layer. You don't have to. And I'm going to pick a, a, a normal brush. So what I want to do right now with my normal brush is show you exactly how I am going to work on this part of the image so as you can see on this part of the image and um, by the way you can see i'm not like all the way zoomed in because that's why i see some people do some people have their images zoomed in like this when they're working that's not really a good idea so just keep your image the way a lot of people will see it so that's like uh, uh i'll say decent um size on your screen that's not too zoomed in and it's not too zoomed out either so just like this right so the first thing i'll do is blend this part of the skin out so what i'm going to do is just reduce my flow for this brush just show you how this is going to work so i'm going to go with the brush that is you know relatively like half the size of like from the top of her hair here all the way down here now the more you do this the more you understand how this whole thing works and it will be easier for you because when i work i typically use the bracket open and bracket close keys on my keyboard to reduce my brush size um depending or increase depending on the area that i'm working on so what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to brush my highlights into my shadows like this and i'm using this black brush so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing and then 
because I've brushed in from my highlights to my shadows, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pull in from my shadows to my highlights too, just to ease that out now. I'm going to delete this layer and I'm pick my, I'll pick my mixer brush tool now. Right? And I'll do it with a small brush, a medium-sized brush. So what I'm going to do right now is just brush this way. You guys can see that. And what I'm going to do is bring back in. So if I show you the before and after real quick, so before and after, you can see that was the after, after, so before, after, you can see that that part of the face is all blended, right? So what about this part, this part that you can see that you can literally see the line between this, um, the, the, the highlight, the midtones and the shadows. So the whole idea is just to ease in that transition between the highlight, the midtones and the shadows, right? So what about this part? What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this way. One, two, three. So I haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do that so you guys can see. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. You guys can see, if I show you before and after, you can see how I've blended that out, right? So right here too, the same thing from my highlights to the shadows, and then I can bring that back. So let's see uh, before and uh, after. You guys can see we've eased the transition between the highlights and shadows, right? So if I'm going to work on this, I can do the same thing for here to what I just did here. But the thing now is that here, you know, the difference between the highlights and shadows is not showing too much. So I'm going to pick a bigger brush. And what I'm going to do right now is let me pick a, a brush and change the color of my brush to, you know, maybe red and show you exactly what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to brush this way brush this way brush this way brush this way right so it's one two three four right and i can bring it back one two three four right or five whatever depending on how you want to do it so okay great so now i'm just going to pick my mixer brush tool and my pick the red color but if it does just undo so what i'm going to do right now i just pick the red color immediately i increase the the brush size so just going to undo that and what i'm going to do right now like i said a big brush so that's one two three just like that see fix that spot i'm going to do that for this place too so it's right there fix that here I'm going to do it for here too you know right here i'm going to do it for here so what i'm just doing is just brushing over gradually right then i'll come here with a small brush just like this you know so now that we're done with that let's see what before looks like before and after so if we turn off this frequency operation help because i just wanted you guys to be able to see exactly what was happening there so let's see our before and our after before after you can see how we fixed that up so let's say we are working on oh by the way this is like a editor one where everything has been done like let's say we are trying to take out uh, i'm going to turn on the frequency operation help right now so let's say we're trying to take out this part right i don't know if you guys can see we have these lines right here these lines they're like bags under the eye if i try and take that out how do we do it we're still going to use our brush our mixer brush tool but what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to drag in from my highlights under here into the shadows i'm not going to drag back from the shadows i'm just going to drag in so i can fill that up so just to show you guys an example so that's one two three four five six so i'm just dragging in from the highlights to the shadows just to fill that up right and i'll do the same thing here right i'm just going to drag in from here just to fill that up so let's see how before and now after you guys can see we filled out before after right here on the side i can see that there is a, a it's like a, a patch here right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag from the highlights up here down here now i'm not returning back from the shadows i'm just dragging down right okay great so now that we've done those parts right let's say we want to work on this part what i'm going to do is pick a bigger brush like i said your brush size has to be relative to the size of the area that you want to work in right so right here i'm actually going to go up and down it's all about technique right so it's just just gradual movements i'm not doing anything you guys can see my movements are just i'm going to put it on the hair here so you guys can see just like this one just like this just slight movements like that by the way if you're not using a, a a tablet basically that has a pen a tablet and a pen doesn't have to be a wacom but if you're not using a tablet then it will be difficult for you to do this because right now i'm using a tablet and it just feels like i'm playing with a brush on a piece of paper or i'm actually like just holding a pen right okay so if i'm if i want to sort this place out so it's going to be the same so i'm going to move up and then i can bring it down so i can go up and i can bring it down i can go up and i can bring it down so 
you don't just pull from somewhere into like another place if you're trying to like blend so if you're trying to blend for example i'm trying to like blend this out i can pull from the highlights into the shadows then i can pull from the shadows back highlights to shadows shadows back highlights to shadows shadows back so that just blends everything out but if i'm trying to like remove a particular thing for example right here on the lip if i'm trying to remove the shadow here i don't have to pull from the shadows back it's when i'm blending that i'll go both ways if i'm just trying to remove this right here all i have to do is just brush down just to take that shadow out and if i show you the before and after you can see that shadow is sticking out so for the most part you just have to understand how it works so what i'm going to do right now is go back to my brush tool and what i want to quickly show you guys is how to work on your subject's face so typically if i'm working around this area i brush this way and this way right if i'm working around this area i brush this way and i brush this way right if i'm working on the side of the face then i'll probably brush this way and maybe i'll bring it back maybe um depending on what what i want to do right here you know it's going to be this way right um then sometimes i can go this way and this way just to you know work on 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 these areas by the way i'm actually painting on the actual picture which is crazy <laughs> i'm just going to take all that out create a, a new layer and uh, create a new layer and paint on the new layer okay great so like i said you know when i'm working here it's probably going to be this way then this way then here the same thing this way this way i'm going to move my brush those ways um by the way if i'm working on here it's going to be this way then this way right and you know you guys get the the whole idea so right here if i'm working on this part of the face if i pick my mixer brush tool right what i'm going to do right now is that i can see that there's a clear um there's a clear line between the highlights right here and the mid-tones and the shadows what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paint this way this way this way just paint over oh by the way sorry <laughs> i'm not my little layer oh my god prince so i'm just going to paint this way this way this way just to blend out right if i pick my brush i want to show you guys what i did i was going this way and this way but just very short brush strokes right so it's like this like this like this just to get get that part done if i want to work on this part of the face right if i pick my mixer brush tool uh i'm going to work on this part of the face like this right just work on this part so what i'm doing is that i'm following the way the light is hitting my subject's face now i can see this tiny um piece here that i don't want so what i'm going to do is just go this way and this way this way and this way right and the same thing for here all these areas then i can now just work on this areas like this so if i go back to this to show you how i'm working on those areas and i pick a brush you know i'm working this way when it comes to this and i'm going back up but basically they are i'm using a big brush and i'm typically using like um short brush strokes so i'm not pulling from here all the way up here and all the way up so it's just short brush strokes and and working on specific areas and not like the whole face at, at the same time by the way this is not how this image looks you know if we turn now you can see everything now i'm painting on that picture again <laughs> Ah, uh, Prince, amazing teacher you are. <laughs> okay, great. So let's see our before and our after, and you guys can see how far we've come. And the same thing around here that we're going to do. So right here, I'm going to work this way with the brush and this way. And like oh, I was showing you guys down here, it was like this and it was like that, you know, so this way, that way. And we're going to do the same here. Oh my God, have mercy. I cannot believe <laughs> same thing is still on my little ear instead of my... um so right here right here instead of the layer i created here i'm going to just work with sh short sh brush strokes uh like this like this and like this right and maybe here i might just do this and this okay great so let's see how this will work okay great so i'm going to turn that off and we're going to get to work so right here you know pick a brush like this and i'm just going to follow the lines that i set here so it's like this you know then here i'll do the same here like this with you guys can see the brush big I can, you know i can still see these lines here so i'm just going to pull up just to fill that up and what i did there if i go and pick a normal brush what i did here was just to push up just up this way just to fill that out okay great 
And typically, it's the same thing here, down here at the face. What I'm going to do is just go like this and like this and like this just to, you know, fill that place up. So I'm going to go back to my mixer brush tool. And what I'll do is just go over like this. If you guys can see, another thing that you have to pay attention to is that I'm not changing the way her face looks. I'm being very specific in the way that I work just to make sure that you know, I'm not messing up the way her, um, her face looks and she still looks exactly the same. So if I turn off this help layer, uh, I'll show you guys the before and the after, um, it looks good. By the way, if you want me to put this help layer as this particular help layer as part of like my um, retouching essentials pack, let me know. Um, if I get like a few comments asking for it, then I'll do it. Um, I'll create the action and just put it in there. Okay, great. So um, you guys get the whole idea. I just fixed this by just pulling from the highlights. So never drag from like the highlights all the way into the shadow like this that just messes everything up do not do that you know you just have to be like very subtle so if i'm working here it's just really short brush strokes and here too so for the face uh, for the nose you know it's just work on like the way the shadows are exactly and the highlights you know the, the way lights falling on my subject's face and yeah that's about it that is how to use the mixer brush tool so now i'm just going to go around um, with a big brush um just really short strokes and just clean up the face, make sure that everything looks really nice and good. Um, you can go in and fix up all these places if you want. And that's about it. That is how we get, like, we use our mixer brush um, to, to, to retouch our image. And this is what our image looks like right now, just from creating this video with you guys. So that's our before and as our after, before and after. Like I said, it's very easy, just practice. Um, if you want to pause the screen you can pause the screen and look at the the way like um i, I use my brush or the technique that i use for my brush strokes when it comes to the mixer brush tool that's about it by the way like i said it's christmas merry christmas to you guys um by the way check out my um digital store up to 50 percent off and everything i absolutely love you guys thank you so much for all the support and i hope you've learned a thing or two from this this would definitely take your retouch into a whole new level if you do not know how to use mix a brush and um I'm, I'm hoping you've learned something today anyways thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in the next one have an amazing day guys peace out